Good morning, boys and girls. Um, this was not how I was expecting our week uh, our week to finish. I must admit. Um, but there we go. Um, I hope you're all safe and well. It's back to home learning um, until at least Thursday next week, um, depending on circumstances. Um, so we're, we're basically waiting on um, PCR results to come through from the member of staff who tested positive. Um, so if they come back negative, we could go back to school earlier. Um, however, it's probably more than likely that it will be negative. It will come back positive. Um, so if that's the case, we'll be there'll be home learning to at least Thursday next week. Um, so I just want to go through and explain how to access remote learning because it's been a while. Um, like I said earlier, I was hoping that we wouldn't have to do this again. Um, but the best way to access the home learning is if you go onto the school web page and it says remote learning just here. If you click on remote learning uh, and then there's four or five link, click on the four or five link and a timetable, you'll have to scroll down. Um, so we've got a date here, okay? But I've managed to do a timetable in, up until next Friday. Uh, and on the timetable, you've got at the top, it will say spelling, writing, maths, PE, reading, uh, a bit of keep-up maths. In brackets, it's, um, it says roughly how long these activities take. Some will take um, shorter than that, potentially, um, but that's just a, a rough indication of how long the activities could potentially take. Um, you don't have to do it in this particular order, it's entirely up to you what you do and when you want to do it, um, but I've tried to keep it fairly similar to, to school timetable, so we often start with spelling and first thing, writing, maths after break and so so on. Um, the P activities are really nice, really, really nice activities, um, a variety of activities, you just pick one each day to do. Again, you know, some are really short ones, um, some take a little bit longer. And then you just try and complete as many as you possibly can with that one. Reading comprehension today, I mean, each day it'll be different. Today it's independent reading, but um, most of the time there'll either be a reading comprehension text or there'll be a pre recorded lesson from myself um, using the Eric way of teaching reading comprehension like we do in school. Then you've got here keep up your maths, keep up your maths. You just pick one of the four links to access. So you can spend 15 minutes on times of rock size, 15 minutes on numbots, 15 minutes on hit the button, or five a day. And then in the afternoon session is usually linked to inquiry. Um, for today, I've got a football code breaker challenge just to link in with the Euros, so I thought it'd be quite nice. Um, there's a year four and a year five challenge there. Um, you will have to apply your multiplication and division skills to try and solve the problem and crack the codes. And then each day at 2 p.m. I will do a Zoom catch up. So just checking in, seeing how everybody is, um, seeing if anyone needed any, any extra support with any of the home learning. And we usually will just finish off with um, a learning game linked to something from that particular day. So with regards to today, spelling the zone. So click on the link watch the video first and then complete the spelling zone activity the writing we're using Oak Academy just because it's the videos of a high quality better quality than if I was recording it um, watch the video pause it when it asks you to pause it and complete the activity uh, when it when it tells you to do so these it might not be your teacher doing it but these are really really good uh, so do persevere with these maths today I've actually put the link from the website but um, from next week onwards the, the, the input would be myself so um, I'll pre-record the lessons that's my job for today um, to watch the video and then you click on the activity to complete the work will be on here but I will also send it on dojo portfolio so for instance the maths sheets um, if you didn't want to do it on paper you can then write on it uh, on the screen if you have a tablet um, or a mobile phone, you can you can physically write on it as well. Okay, um, so it gives you that option too. So you can either access the work from here and click on the website links, and then write in your book, or you can log on to your portfolio, your Dojo portfolio, and from your Dojo por portfolio, you can then open the book and write on it. Hopefully, boys and girls, I will see most of you at 2 p.m. 
um, for a catch up. The link is here, so if you click, click the link, it will come up with the password being owls. I will also share it on Dojo in case you forget that information. As the week progresses, more links will be added on. So at the moment, I've got all the work for next week on the timetable. What I haven't done is attach the videos to teacher inputs. Okay, so once I do them today, you can see here, okay, there's no link yet. There'll be links for them for each day. Thanks everyone, look after each other, and I will s hopefully see most of you later. Bye bye.